How's it going, guys? It's Poetry Sun, and welcome back to another episode of the, uh, uh, Richard McCauley Historical Germany Campaign. We do actually have a lot of air experience, and we dumped it, didn't we? We dumped it all into this, right? Yeah. We did dump it into this, so that we have the, you know, the A, uh, the A version, and it has a lot of good stuff going for it, but if we, we might as well dump more points into it. If we have this many points we're not really going to be using them for anything else so we might as well you know do a whole nother thing so now we have a fw 190 b and that thing is going to be killer like the quality of air if uh you know airplane we have is going to vastly out uh do the um the the british i believe so we may not have the the numbers advantage there but we will have the quality i guarantee you this Okay, it looks like these guys are starting to get this battle under control. These battles are not doing so hot, which I do not like to see. What divisions do we not have? We have... We have... This dude here. So, since you're not, since you're not on the front lines, I'm going to retreat you. And this seems like a dumb idea. Why would you retreat? Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the units that have the worst, and then one that is decent. Move you there. And we really want to be able to hold this river at least, so I'm going to start getting a backup force in place, just in case, you know? Just in case we need to do that. They haven't reached yet actual Germany. They're in Poland still. So that's, that is the, the one good thing to be taking from this. Uh, so, yeah, that's, that's good. We have lost a lot of manpower, though. They have also lost a lot of manpower, though, so that's something to keep in mind. Let's stop this attack. It has to calculate everything. That's great. Um, I think we're going to stop this attack because we need to defend and and regroup, recover. We're not doing the best that we could be doing here. But as they keep pushing, it looks like they're having a tougher and tougher time getting farther. So you are the ones in charge of this whole front line down here. But why is it expanding so far for you guys? It doesn't seem like it should be that far. Do you and the purple line share this or something? I'm not sure. I don't remember how I set it up. Either way, let's go ahead and take this dude. Move this infantry in. We just want to, you know, make sure that we have the best that we have over here. Um, let's look at our infantry divisions. I haven't looked at a while. They have 19 combat width, which is really, really, like, your ideal combat width. So I don't know why they're necessarily suffering so much. I guess they're just, the numbers, they just get torn apart right away. Combat, combat WAP, yes. Combat width is 18 for these guys, which is pretty good. So... Oh my, I don't know, man. We just don't have enough stuff, I think. But neither do they. They can't have enough stuff. Like, I mean, our supply is actually... We are we are having full supply. I think we just don't have enough to hire all the new units we have. But um, but I don't know. I don't know, man. It's uh, They're definitely going to win this battle, which does suck, by the way. But... Um, why don't you... I, I really want to keep you here. I'm going to actually deassign you. Just because I think we want to keep... I want to make sure that we have uh, units ready on this side of the river. So let's take, like, you. And put you... There. And maybe, like, you. Oh, it's not paused. Uh, and put you... Here. I just really, really, really want to make sure we have a defense line set up on this side of the river for them. Because they're almost... Well, yeah, they just won that battle there, so I don't have much of a choice at this point. But, yeah, if we can hold them on this side of the river, it'd be really great, I think. It'd be great, mate. And we, we need to micromanage this a little bit, I think. You should come here, because we only have some Spanish divisions there that aren't even at full strength, so... Uh, okay, looks like they have stopped attacking us momentarily here. And we're gonna take the... 
weakest infantry and say you guys can you know have some R and R. Stop attacking for now. Um, and then beyond that, we're gonna take everyone else though, and I think we might just want to wait a little longer because I think I maybe attack prematurely. I think we want to wait till they are at their weakest. They're shuffling a lot of troops around. I'm not sure where those are all going, but like say when this guy gets out of here, two hours, and he's gonna be out there in one day. So in 24 hours. Well, they're going to attack into this province because it looks like it's the weakest one they have that I can see at least. I don't know, man. They're, I mean, but they're shuffling everywhere. We're going to have to fight some full strength units regardless. At some point in time, we're going to have to. So maybe we. Maybe we. Don't worry about it too much. Oh, they're actually attacking us. Interesting. Okay, well, I don't know how that's going to work out for you, buddy. I don't think you're going to be able to win that. Um. Meanwhile, though. You guys should not be attacking there. If anything, you guys should be reinforcing Warsaw. That is top priority, numero uno. Reinforce Warsaw. We really need to keep Warsaw, I think. It's a big city, and I'd really like to hang on to it as long as possible, if not for the whole war. You know, I think it's very important. Hmm. <clears throat> very important to hang on to Warsaw. tell you what this army here this army I'm going to I'm gonna reduce your front lines by like like two provinces just because I don't want I, I think that we're good to hang in there with just these guys uh, these the orange squadron or whatever they can hang in there for eight hours I think we could we can and then we'll get some reinforcements to them. Well needed, uh, or much needed reinforcements. So that's good. And I think with these guys here, when we win this battle, we, need, we immediately need to turn around and attack them. Because they're going to be fairly weak. To the point where we might be able to take this province, which is, you know, cuts off some of their angles for attacking Warsaw. So immediately just pound them. You know, we just got to pound them, and we got to throw everything we have at it, I think. I want you to support attack. You guys can attack full strength. And yeah, we just need to, we really, really, really need to like surround, uh, get a good area surrounding there and get a good bit of uh, strength built up, you know? Looks like we've at least slowed their march there. But uh, I don't know, man. What do you think? These guys, I don't know if they're cut off or not, but they're they're hanging in there, but hopefully they don't get uh, wiped. That would be very unfortunate. It sucks having to do this sort of, uh, trying to do this sort of encirclement because of the fact that there's just so many uh, ways they can attack from. You know, they have us surrounded on all sides, essentially. But, uh, yeah, let's just continue to try to do what we do best, holding them back. It looks like we're starting to get some, uh, divisions with OK, uh, um, organization in there working, so that's good. Venezuela is coming in to help, lovely. You can attack there, so we don't want to. We want to leave at least one behind, but we can definitely support attack. And with you, we're going to start moving you in there. It'll take, like, yeah, a day and 16 hours, but by the time you get there, you'll have full organization. Not full, maybe, but, you know, more. Looks like we're starting to hold them back a little bit better there, which is good. Did our units die here? Or did they move? I think they stopped attacking, so they're actually uh, redistributing themselves across the line. So that's good. Um, oh man, yeah, now that I look at it, this little line we have here is close to... Kind of close to getting cut off, which I really do not like. Uh, so let's take this this number of troops here. The farthest they go up to is up to there. 
I don't think we need to defend up to there. I think we're going to take the front line and start it over here. Coming down from there all the way down to the Black Sea. I think that's going to be our line. That's going to be what, all we're going to mess with. I really don't want them to be able to cut off, you know, 30 divisions. That would be awful. Really hinder our chances at winning. Th this has got to be like mountains and hills. I mean, geez, how many troops are they losing by attacking us like this? Uh, this is the German-Polish War. We want the German-Soviet War. They've lost twice as many men as me. I think last time when we stopped the last recording session, it was much more close. I think it was like five, like 400,000 to 700,000. I think they've actually escalated in the amount of troops they're losing. We're definitely taking the heaviest losses, although Hungary is taking quite a bit as well. They lost 117. Siamese Empire has. Lovely. <laughs> Um, good to know they're putting in the work. But, uh... The Siamese Empire is... Yeah, so they're part of our, uh... They turned fascist. Yeah, okay. I forgot about that. Japan is still hasn't gotten China to capitulate, but it looks like they're well on the way to winning. They're also doing fairly well against the Soviets, so that's pretty good. Um, I think that'll be just fine on that front. I think mostly we just need to worry about our own front. So, yeah. Oh, hey, look at this. We actually did take it. Wow. Um, this is super good. So this is the first time that we've actually been able to push back. And I think, if I can, I want to push back more. We need to, we need to get as much of a uh, advantage as we can. And every little thing is going to help. So let's see if we can't just surround them and out, outdo them, outplay them, you know? You definitely not gonna go that way. You're going to Warsaw, buddy. Straight into the meat grinder. Yeah, there you go. You go to Warsaw as well. We just need to keep piling on the units there, honestly. We're winning all these up here. You can come up here, because I know that this guy's not gonna move. Yeah, I'm glad I chose to defend behind this river. I think that's a, that was a good idea. Let them suffer, you know, penalties for crossing and stuff. I don't know, man. This is looking a little rough. Just, I don't know why they're having such a hard time recovering their, their fuel. I mean, I think this is obviously the highest priority, but do we maybe want to make it so that these guys... Uh, are even a higher priority, you know? This strike elite assault force I have, or, uh, or is it fine? I don't know. I think it's probably fine, but... Let's go ahead and reinforce there. I mean, all the battles where we are actually, like, taking a part of, we're actually doing fairly well at. So I think our... It's, it's, it's proving that the German quality of troops is fairly high. Know, who would have thought, right? Um, is anyone surprised? But, <laughs> but yeah, I don't know what these guys are doing. This is Hungary? Yeah, Hungary, what you doing, man? They just will not let up. That's the main thing, you know? We're Like, look at this. We're winning all the battles now, actually. Well, that one we weren't for a second, but now we are. Good. Yeah, and they're actually having an acro attack across this river here as well, which is, I think, another reason we're doing all right there. I want you to come in here, and then afterwards, I want you to go to Warsaw. Yeah, we're definitely going to win this battle here, I think, so. If we could retake up to this river, I think that'd be a prime place to defend. They were pushing us back for a while. Now that we've kind of regained our composure, let's go ahead and press them back to the river. And if we can do that, I think that'll be fine for a while. And I'd be happy just kind of having a static border for a little bit so I can regroup. And they go and regroup too, but... I think it's more important for us to just kind of have some time. Yeah, they're starting to retreat. We're going to win this battle any second now. There we go. Now we're there. And you... I kind of want to take... I want you to go here and then here and then back to Warsaw, though. And that way you have time to recover. And I don't have to remember to put you back in the Warsaw. But, yeah, I want you to go there. Um... I think the main thing is we just need to make sure we always have an, a strong infantry line that is taking care of uh, Warsaw. So let's go ahead and get another infantry up there. 
We're winning all these battles now. I'm not sure why, but it's like something has changed. They have no... It seems like they no longer have the... Uh, the Red Baron was killed. Oh, no. Um, it seems like they no longer have uh, the same, you know, grip on our testicles that they had before. <laughs> Isn't one way to put it, I guess. Uh, let me make sure my volume levels are all right still from last episode. Yeah, we're good. We're almost done with this episode, so maybe I should have checked earlier, but we're good. Um, Italy, you know, you don't need... You probably don't need, like, literally 150 divisions in, in Africa. It would be very helpful if you brought, like, half of those back here, maybe. The USA is being a nuisance, as always. We are, we are winning in Bessarabia, in that area. So it seems like my infantry just cannot keep up with our tanks, it seems, for this elite group. So we might just have to do our best to, uh, to maybe uh, just use them. You know, the infantry will carry on behind them where they can. But I don't think they're going to be... We can't rely on the infantry, because the, the tanks just seem to be much more... They have much more depth and resistance to them. When this battle finishes, we're going to push immediately, I think. I think it's a good idea to try again. Of course, they keep bringing in more and more troops. If they want to throw men at me, waste their manpower, that's fine. I mean, obviously... Maybe I shouldn't try to spite the Russians, because they do have, like, the most manpower out of anyone in the game, I think. But... Or something like that, you know? So, I don't think they have as much as, like, uh, the U.S. But, you know. But I'm just saying, you know, they, they do have a lot of manpower. I should keep that in mind, that I don't think I can necessarily out-manpower the, the Soviets. But, I will try. <laughs> this is not good, the fact that these guys are suffering so much here the hands of these armies. I don't want to lose this province. I mean, this province in particular isn't crucial, but I'd rather just not lose any more provinces, so. We're winning all these battles now. Look at that. Look at that. We have kind of almost a, uh, almost a dominant position, I would say, even. Look at this. This is an opportunity if I've ever seen one. Can you guys attack from here to there? Yes, you can. So I don't want you to do that. I'm just checking because I want to know if I need to leave behind a unit at all. I think we're just going to blitzkrieg the crap out of these guys. I think we want to take this river, like I said. I uh, want to have control of the river so that they have to attack across a river whenever they attack us. You know? And it's really nice that the uh, Romanians and Hungarians actually do have quite, quite a bit of troops here. Even if they aren't high quality... Just the fact that, oh, this is really bad. We cannot let this fall here. But the fact that it's, uh, they, they have troops there defending our flanks is good. This is really bad, the fact that they're pushing here so hard. Wow, this is really dangerous. I need to make sure that this does not fall. I'm glad I noticed it when I did, but it might be too late still. Four days? What? It's not good. Not good. We need to make sure that we don't... Well, the other alternative is... Stop attacking. Oh, you can't attack. You're being attacked. Okay. Uh, I mean, it's, it's just dangerous. It's lasting less than a day, but hopefully these guys are attacking there. Hopefully it'll keep them pinned because it looks like they're trying to cut us off. If they're able to head us off there, that'd be really bad. I do not want that to happen. I mean, it's it seems like I might be repeating myself saying, you know, it'd be really bad if they do this, really bad if they do this, but it is, you know, we've got every single thing to make a huge difference. Let's take like two infantry to treat them into the Warsaw battle. That's a little bit more important. A little bit more at the top of our priority list, at least. I want you to go up there. Don't go that way, actually. That seems like a dumb way to go about it. Yeah, it looks like they're a little bit more well defended there than I thought. I meant to attack into... Oh, no, that is that province. Okay, I thought there might be two there that I was missing.
There we go. There we go. On the German front, we're holding well. Down here, it's going all right. They, it looks like they've actually kind of given up a little bit, uh, which is very good for us. Wow. Okay, so this is insane. They actually managed to cut us off. This giant, you know, column of troops, and they managed to cut us off, which is extremely dangerous. So if you're not here, you should go here and then there. Like we need to, we need to take that back, you know. We need to regain access to supply. Is the main thing. So, like for instance, you guys, hey, yo, you tanks, retreat to here. Yeah, retreat, retreat to there. We need to attack with everything we got. Attack. Attack. Oh, we can't because we're being attacked. Oh, this is really bad. They're not going to be able to, like, stack wipe us for a while, but it is bad. I'm not going to deny it. Ah, uh, this is very bad, actually. A lot. We might lose our whole in, entire elite group of troops. It's really bad. We need to win this battle so that we can actually start attacking them. That's the most important thing of all right now. In that, in that over there, at least you know. Unable to find valid path to target. What? Whatever. Um, I have bigger things to worry about. Poland. In the Polish front. Retreat to there. Just do it. Trust me. Alright. This battle was about to be won. Oh, now they have a canceled attacking, actually. And now we're gonna just pummel them. We gotta do it. We have to do it. I don't know, man. It's risky. We could lose all these units. It would be awful, but it might actually be what happens. I don't understand how they're even, like, managing to win this. I guess it's just the low supply modifier. Yeah, they're starting to kill our divisions off. That's awful, man. Do we want to, uh, like, we were at 500,000. We probably just got, like, a good bit more casualties. Yeah, um, tell you what. One thing we could do is just disband these units. If we do that, we lose out on the experience and stuff, and that's very subpar. But we get all the, uh... I think we get all the equipment back, or we get all the, the manpower back, so... But I don't know if you can do it while you're in combat. I mean, I guess we can find out. We should at least take the units that are, like, about to die, and say... Oh, you... Okay, you do lose. Six units are encircled. You will lose all of their equipment and 80% of their manpower. Ooh. So, okay, so maybe... If we're gonna lose 80% anyways, we might as well fight for the chance to live. It's a gamble, but it's a gamble I think I'm gonna take. So yeah, like those infantry units are just getting crushed, I think. The tank ones are hanging in there. Oh no, they just, yeah, they just killed them completely. Wow. That's brutal, man. That's, I can't believe it. I mean, I can to a certain extent. But yeah, that's that. I mean, that's just brutal. That's uh, that was my mistake, though. I didn't catch on to it quick enough. The fact that they were gonna be uh, encircling me there, I didn't realize it. Look at that. We just got, we just like lost 200, 150 thousand men. You know, that's awful. That sucks. That's a really big, really big mistake. But uh, to be fair, I was I was trying to reinforce there. You know, I just couldn't get there in time. Yeah, we're we're just gonna we just gotta keep going though. 
can't back down now. What does the air map mode look like with uh, with these guys? They have a uh, quite a few planes still, so I don't really think we have much to do against them there in that regard. Um, because what I'm thinking is there's got to be a way that we can. We need to be able to get some sort of uh, an edge against them. So, like, do we have any troops that we could maybe do a... Oh, we have these military police now. Um, I'll tell you what, I'm going to send all three of you over to here first. Um, is there maybe a way we could do a cheeky little naval invasion? Could we do a naval invasion of, of Leningrad or something, you know? Like, there's got to be an option here. And you are a regular infantry division. I think I'm going to risk it. We're going to risk it and go, like, put you in the Balkan Theater, even though this is the opposite of the side of Europe from that. Um, and I'm going to say we're going to put you in charge, and we're going to do a naval invasion from here to Leningrad. If we could take it, it would be huge. Um, we wouldn't be able to hold it, I'm pretty sure, but, you know, might as well try. How long would it take? Seven days. That's not too bad. And, uh, yeah, beyond that. Uh, we should check to see where you have the, the best generals possible. So, you're level 5, level 5, level 6, level 5. This one is a level 3. I'm gonna replace you for the, uh, level 6 I had. I think that's a little bit better. You should uh, reinforce there. Still, we need to have Warsaw as our priority. They're throwing a lot of men at us there. And uh, I'm a little concerned, but at the same time, I'm a little pleased by the fact that they're throwing so much manpower at us. By the fact that they deem us so worthy of such massive amounts of manpower. Oh, they actually temporarily stopped attacking. I think they're launching a whole new wave of attacks, though. Like, a whole new wave of frontline maneuvers. We have a lot of divisions here, wow. I wonder if we could push up in here. Into here a little bit. We'll see. We are actually starting to gain some traction as far as infantry equipment. I think we're coming out of our death spiral of not having enough stuff. Uh, we are constructing stuff, repairing stuff. I don't care about repairing factories that are in occupied lands. We don't have anything actually building. We need to have stuff building. Like, we have a large amount of civilian factories, right? Like, Yeah, like a ton. So, we need to be working on stuff. For one, let's take, like, Alsace. Just build it up all the way with like, civilian factories. Champagne. Ah, uh, crap, crap. No, not Champagne. That's... Actually, Alsace isn't, <clears throat> isn't even, uh native land is it so let's do that cancel that it's dumb uh no what we want to do is go to our land and that is owned by us and does not have resistance how much resistance is there in like austria like none okay sweet well in that case i'm gonna go ahead and go like in the sudeten land we're gonna go ahead and do that and like that and then we're also gonna do like that well, keep some for the Navy. We might want to build naval bases at some point. And leave ourselves the option if we want to. And, yeah, we're just going to go through and build up a whole bunch of factories. Come down here and go bam, 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 bam. There you go. That'll give them stuff to work on for quite some time. But either way, I need to go ahead and end this video here. So thank you guys for watching. Go leave a like and subscribe for more. Uh, come back for more next time, and we'll go ahead and continue this massive blood fest. So either, either way, I will see you guys in the next video when we do that. So um, until then, goodbye.